Hello Dreamers, I'm Crash from Dream About Anything. Welcome to today's video. In which I want to show you the idea for making cheap garden furniture. You will see a garden coffee table and an original flower pot, which will further decorate our garden. Everything I need to make them is available in the workshop. I got the planks you see from an old wooden pallet. That's make this project extremely budget friendly. I've been doing wooden pallets projects quite a bit lately. I am now a master of their disassembling. The planks for the crafting are already prepared. I am working on a plan, I guess. I have prepared 2.5 cm screw, which you will not see up close because of the poor autofocus. Oh, there it is, it worked. They might come up a little short. Never mind, I will know for the next time to buy a longer ones. I drill a pilot hole through the plank in block, so they don't split when I drive the screw. I screw one plank into each side of the block. I think two screws per plank are enough. I will place another block at the other end of the table leg. This will be the first of four legs. I do it the same way as on the other end. Here, the leg is ready. As you can see, two of the planks are short. While the other two are longer, but all are with same weight. It remains hollow inside, perfect for some kind of hidden stash. I continue with the work. I will need three more legs. I move on to the next task, the tabletop.
Again, I make pilot holes to prevent cracking the planks. I place two planks over the legs. And perpendicular to them, I will build the whole bottom. The bottom is done, but I'm checking to see if the dimensions are as expected. I prepare the planks for the top of the counter. I decided to cut them at an angle for a more polished look. Time to sand the planks because they are pretty rough. They are from pallets after all. Good thing I have the right tool because it would have been a nightmare to do it on hand. After the sanding comes a time for paint. I mentioned earlier that I make two things, a table and a pot. I won't bore you with the making of the second one, the steps are exactly the same. I decided to paint them with white paint, a white color that goes with everything. They could have gotten whiter with more coatings, but I like them just the way they are. I let them dry and move on. What's a coffee table without a glass top? This piece of glass has been in my way for a long time in storage. It's a little shabby, but it will fit in with the overall design. I make a frame around the glass to keep it on the table. I tuck the slats, sanding, painting and it's done. I fill our cracks with silicone, because I don't want dust, water, bugs, etc. to go under the glass.
I prepare under the glass elements. Naturally, the topic will be coffee. This part took me an extremely long time. But I think how that work was worth it. I also put a gasket on the glass for the reason I mentioned earlier. I will need access to the clock to change the batteries. So about the pot, I have so-called leak fix spray on hand. I plan to spray paint the walls and bottom to protect them from water and dirt. I tried this for the first time. After a year, look for a review if the bottom is okay. Now maybe is the time to mention. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do it. Also hit one like and comment on whether or not you like the video. I choose to plant a year around chrysanthemum. I hope they will take hold and bloom. Beautiful. Oh, look at this, guys. It's time for coffee. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, as I said, hit the like button. This is how you help me and you motivate me to continue. See you again in the next video, dreamers.